Do you want to look at, do you want to see an example of why some people don't like Bert? What do you guys think this is about? Do you think this is a bit or do you think he genuinely thinks this? I want you guys to tell me. Do you think this is a bit or do you think he genuinely thinks like this? Please let me know what you think in the, in the stream chat. Please let me know. This weekend? Yeah. I don't know. Nate Diaz. Oh my God, dude. Dude, I got it. Look, I don't want to be a party snitch, right? Yeah. Like, I don't like because I and I've and there are people out there that I've, well, I've don't, kept don't. I've kept secrets about. Yeah. But I will tell you, partying with Nate Diaz. Where in L.A.? Stockton. You were in Stockton. In, I said to the group, I said because I wasn't drinking this week. I went to Tyler Florence's, had a martini and two wines. Don't count that as drinking. No hangover. Woke. You hear what he said? Do you hear what he said? One more time. Drinking this week. I went to Tyler Florence's, had a martini and two wines. Don't count that as drinking. No hangover. Woke up, woke up, work out hard. He said he wasn't drinking this week. So he went to a party and had two wines or something. And that doesn't count as drinking. Do you think that's a bit? Or do you think he really thinks that? Do you think he really thinks if you don't have drinks that aren't beers, they don't count as drinking? So if it's not a beer and it's not a liquor, then it doesn't really count as a alcoholic beverage. What? One more time. One more time. One more fucking time. I said to the group, I said, because I wasn't drinking this week, I went to Tyler Florence's, had a martini and two wines. Don't count that as drinking. No hangover. Woke up, woke up, work out hard, hard the next day. You know what would be more, you know what would be more tolerable with Bert? If he was just an unapologetic alcoholic. This whole like coping delusion thing that he has where I don't drink that much um, I only drink on these days. That day it didn't really count because I only had two vodkas. This whole like excuse making cope thing is so annoying. I'd rather he just be a proper like full blooded alky. Like that would just be a lot more tolerable. This like what is this? Like what is this nonsense? Why are you breaking my brain by saying you didn't drink, but then you had two martinis and a wine? What? How does that not count as a drink? Like. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, big up skin, skin it. Yo, Oz, my guy, treating the USA to a day live tie. Yeah, big up skin it. You know, big up my USA gang, big up my American man, them, right? What's up, you guys? Hello, you Yankees, right? Uh, that's not a good accent, right? Um, hey guys, what up, y'all? It's me, your boy. Agostino, what's good? <laughs> That's not a good accent, isn't it, right? What up, y'all? What up, y'all? It's your boy. What up, y'all? Yo, NJ Ranger! I don't got Austin Casey money, but yeah. I wanted to thank the dude who, alongside R.M. Brown, inspired me to bet on myself and do a YouTube. You're doing great, B. Just don't sue me when I check. Yeah, NJ Ranger, big up NJ Ranger one time. Big up NJ Ranger one time. I appreciate the donation, brother. Thank you for joining. Um, you guys are being way too generous today. I don't really know why. We're just shooting a shit. This is no different from any other show, but I do fucking appreciate you all the time. Um, NJ Ranger, if you're on YouTube and you're doing your fucking thing, let's jump on and let's fucking do a fucking stream. You feel me? When I get my computer, we'll set because that's the thing i can't really host like you already see how my computer runs when i do videos so once my computer once i get a new computer we're gonna do a stream all right we'll do a stream together me you rodeo brito a few of us will jump on and start chatting shit yummy yeah, mean? we'll do a lot more of that sort of stuff because i can't i wish i could do it now but you know my computer is fucking terrible even when i open discord it kind of like nearly dies so you know it's all fucking crazy but big up nj ranger i appreciate you you're a fucking legend. And as soon as I get that laptop done, I promise you guys, it's going to be up. It's going to be fucking up. As soon as I get this new fucking gaming laptop. Oh, 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 I swear to God, it's going to be fucking full of shit, you know? Oh, yeah? Let's do it lower. Okay, all right. Okay, 40 FPS. I see you. Let's do it lower. Then. Let's get it lower. Let's get it lower. I, I'm listening to you because you're the fucking expert and you got me here so far. Let's get this lower. At the moment, my bit rate is at what? Let's go to output streaming. I'm on 2,000. Let's get it to 100. Let's get it 1,000. Let's get it to 1,500, yeah? Let's, do, let's see what happens there. Let's do 1,500. Let's see what I'll go on, yeah? 1,500. Let's see what happens there. 
Let's see. Hopefully it doesn't go too crazy, alright? One thousand for one fun. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what happens there. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Can't see me. Can't see me. Can't see me. Um. Anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. Um. Honest question. Do you guys, does it bother you this Burt drinking thing or you do not care? Are you kind of over it? Part of me just wants it to kind of end one way or the other. Either he quits or, you know, I'm kind of fed up with this whole like continuous like, like I don't know. What do you guys think? Am I being a bit too harsh? I kind of feel like it just needs to be over with. Like, either you quit and you get sober so you can be there for your kids or you don't, you know? But this outward fucking, it just, it's like some, it's like, you know what it reminds me of? Do you know, um, do you know when you've got friends who have like, are in a bad relationship and they keep asking you for advice and you spend loads of time giving them advice, trying to help them through it and then they just go back to doing what they're doing before? Do you feel like you're wasting your time? I feel like a bit with this. I feel like we keep wasting our time being concerned. Okay, people are doing shrug. Okay, big up Uncle Podcast. Shrug emoji. Uche, who the fuck cares? Okay, people don't give a fuck. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not the only one that's sort of like, I'm getting to the point where I'm like, yo, big up David Guerra. Appreciate you. Thank you for joining, brother. Okay, I guess I'm not the only one, yeah? All he talks about is drinking. Says, Doid, dude's going to die for the booze. Everyone knows it. I disagree, Doid. Doid, I think he's going to outlast everybody. I think he's one of those annoying people like that we all know in our own families who's going to end up outliving everybody. I bet you. I bet you Burt Kreischer is going to be one of those annoying people who takes no care of himself, indulges, goes fucking crazy, and he's going to end up outliving everybody. Watch. Just do watch. That's how things will happen. Burt's not special like he thinks. He's a, he's a stereotype now. Agree with that one. He bored me after the first six months. Of the, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's like your uncle podcast. He bored me after the first six months on Two Bears, One Cave with his drink talk. Yeah. Fair play, fair play, fair play. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. The next day we're in Stockton. And I said to the group, just giving you a heads up. If we get a chance to go out in Stockton with Nate Diaz, we're going. Everyone was fucking terrified. Yeah. Everyone's like, no, we're not going out. In Big up Valdez. Congrats on 200. Been here for most. And will be for 200 more. Champagne bottle. Clinking glasses. You know, Wagwan. You know, Wagwan. Big up. Big up Valdez family. Appreciate you, family. Thank you for tuning in and always being there and holding me down and shit. Appreciate you. Big up the 200 gang. You feel me? We out here. We fucking out here. Stockton with Nate Diaz. He rolls deep. He rolls with 15 people everywhere he yeah. goes. And they're all certified black belt killers. The guys that were at the MGM show were fucking, you knew right away, like, I'm not fucking with any of these guys. Every single dude he rolls with is dressed in black, head to toe, if not double black. And they're fucking all killers. Did you hit one place or multiple places? So he comes to the show. He's just look. I've have talked wild shit about people, and I'm sure I've said stuff about. I think I said something about me and you jumping him at one point. That's cool. And and so I was. And Shane Gillis told me just so you know they're gonna fuck you up. Yeah. Like he was like, For I wouldn't be that. shocked if they jumped you. Cause like and but I have a rule. I only joke about MMA fighters I know have senses of humor. Yeah. Right. Like so like Izzy. I know Izzy's got a sense of humor. I made a joke. This obsession these comedians have with MMA fighters. What's that about? Is that because most of them are not tough? What's the what's the obsession these guys have with like oh he's a killer he's dangerous <laughs> what's all this stuff about or is it just like a a thing that guys of a certain age are into when you get to a certain age you just become obsessed with like fighting and shit what's all this stuff like why are they so like enamored with people who fight why is that such a, like a wow he fights in the cage <laughs> like what's that all about uh, Connor he's got a sense of humor yeah. every j comment every every Michael Chandler every one of them's got a sense of humor. And it's obviously it's James K. You got it. James K. Surmised it there. I didn't. I never heard of that saying. Every tough guy wants to be funny. Every funny guy wants to be tough. Bang! You got it. 
joke. It's a wild joke. But there was a morning I woke up. And I went, I might have fucked up. Yeah. So I don't know. I know Nate's got us. I know Nate and Nick are friends with Joe. I know they got a sense of humor. I know they're listening to the podcast, Joe's podcast. And I was like, what if Nate's like, I am from Stockton and we don't talk like that. Yeah. And I need you to understand the respect that goes into the, like, I was like, I was really nervous. So I was like, I told everyone, I was like, if he wa- if if he wants to go out, we're going I'm, out. I'm gonna we're, fuck him we're, up. We're going out. Yeah. No, I have no. Yeah. Mark Mark Smalls was like, was like, you look nerve. I was nervous. I was nervous. Like I got I got I worked at my workout, showered, and sat in the green room waiting for him because I wanted to make sure I was like, hey, this is after the show, at, before the show, before the you went out with him before the show. No, so he. Sh- yeah, exactly. <laughs> Big up Josie. That's so well put. Big up Josie. That's so well put. It's just simple minded people. He can fight, so he'll beat me up. And not realizing that grown ups don't go around fighting their problems away. Exactly. It's so barbaric, isn't it? Just kicking everybody's ass that doesn't agree with you. Or somebody that fucking annoys you or like slights you in some way, just inflicting violence on them. And these guys are like enamored by it. They're like, oh, wow. He can fight. It's like. Motherfucker, like you're 50 with two kids, man. Go back home. I was up before the show. Yeah. Uh, cool. I don't think he even had a drink before the show. We maybe rolled a blunt right before I went. We took a shot before I went on stage. And then I was like, yo, you want to come out on stage with me? And he, you know, he's, he really is kind of. Don't say yo again, Bert. Bert, don't you ever say yo ever again. Yo, you want to come out with me? Like, yuck. Just act like you're, just be yourself. Yo. Yo, do you want to come out with me? Ugh. Shy guy. Like, he's just not. Yeah. He's not me. Like, I'm a fucking. He's. He is at the top of his level, and he got there through talent. I got there through being loud as fuck. Right. So he's like, he's like, ah, whatever. Like, yeah, I mean, I'll go out if you want me to. And I was like, fuck yeah, it's your talent. This place is going to lose our mind. I walked out on stage. He comes out behind me. The place went fucking ape shit. Yeah. He just went up. Fucking banged off a flex. Place goes crazy. Rip my shirt off. He goes out. Bring him up at the end of the show. Uh, at the end of the show, he fucking it, it was awesome. And then he's like, and then he's like, yo, you want to go out? I told everyone. I was like, we're going out. And Pete was nervous. He's like, we're not going out in fucking Stockton with the fucking fifteen baddest dudes in the world. The fuck we are. I go, we're going out. We're going out. So they're like, so Nate's like, uh, we got this bar, Ollie's, up in Lodi. Why don't we go up there? And I was like, cool. It's like 25 five minutes away. Organizer Ride got up there. Dude, I haven't done this in so long where I go out after the show. And it, I used to be how I, I how I buttered my bread. It was yeah. like at the end of the night, yeah. everyone goes to a bar. We all party. And we went out with Nate Diaz. We all party. We all party. Honestly, I'd be so embarrassed if my dad spoke like this. Like, I even... I swear to God, I sometimes cringe and sometimes get a bit embarrassed when I'm like going on and on about clubs and stuff that I get up to, right? It's a bit like, you know, like, oh, okay, wow, you went to a nightclub, right? Sometimes sometimes I and sometimes I get bored of myself speaking about raves and shit. This guy like party. Bro, you're 50. Party. Party. Like what? And when he means party, what's, what does he mean by party? What, like, get the beers in? Like, chugging beers? Part, like, where they're going? No strip clubs, no bitches, just a bunch of men chugging beers. Ugh, big up wingers. Bert's alcoholism has made his face look like he's stuck his head into a beehive. <laughs> Bean cheese, etc. <clears throat> yeah, he's got a really unfortunate face, unfortunately. I think Bert's got the kind of face where if he lost weight, if he actually got healthy, I don't think it would help. I think his face is so far gone. His face is so beyond bloated that he's always going to have that that kind of... He's, he's, he's going to have that face... It's bad to say. But have you guys have, do you guys have homeless people out there who have that... I don't know if it's a syndrome of being out or drugs. They'll be really skinny, but they'll have a really chubby face. Like, it'll be really like... It'll be kind of like about to explode. Like homeless people that are maybe addicts and shit. That's kind of the, the face that Bert has. He almost has like an addict's face. It's like, you know, it's a bit like, <clears throat> we're going to party? You're going to jump in for a party? Tito's, oh, so, so, uh, uh, party? Smoke told me Joey's weed. Joey's big, fat, 
uh, I brought four of those tampon joints Joey's makes yeah. with, the, with the glass tip. We smoked all four of them in the rain under a fucking awning, d- did shots, had a fucking blast, and then hung out with him. Like he was like yeah. the coolest fucking guy talked about triathlons talked about swimming talk, like just had great conversations does he like, do those things yeah, yeah. well uh, so like i said like one of my things is like there's i've, I've said this a million times there's two people who people people who can who uh who can swim and people who know how to swim yeah and i've always said that and you if you well, don't know how to swim you don't understand what i'm saying like if you go i can swim and you're like no 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 but can you swim for two miles right and uh and Nate lit up. He was like, "Yeah, I can fucking swim." Like he's like, I, he's I think his brother may be a better swimmer uh, because his brother can do the butterfly. Like his brother, him and his brother are legit fucking swimmers. Like legit. Like and and so we talked about swimming. We talked about uh, triathlons. We talked about everything. He was like the funnest hang I've ever had. And then and then the other thing I love about him, and this is you know I love this. The next day, I'm in, I'm back home. We took the bus home. I go out with Leanne for a date, and uh, fucking Nate Diaz FaceTimes me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love a FaceTime. Of course. I fucking lo- it's It's a trust thing. Yeah. Is you know the person. If you're FaceTiming and they answer, you know where you stand with that guy. And he- no, it's a fame thing. It's a fame hall thing. It's you wanting to be friends with famous people. So when somebody noteworthy calls you and on the FaceTime, it's like, look, look, look. Someone's call-. Like, it's not about trusting. It's fucking clout chasing. That's what it is. All smiles. He's like, dude, Joey's weed kicked my dick. He was like, we had a fucking blast. That's cool. And, and it was cool as fuck. I said, and then I flipped the phone to Lee. I was like, I'm with my wife. And he was like, but get that old lady out of here. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> but it was the funnest fucking time. I will tell anyone. Him and his whole group sat by the end stage, watched the whole show, fucking laugh. Like he was everything. He was everything. Like, That's cool. Yeah, we talked about. Uh, because he fought that dude, Sneeko. Mm-hmm. And he, he did? He sparred with him. He didn't fuck him up. Like, Sean Strickland fucked him up. Yeah, he fucked him he up. He fucked him up. Yeah. Nate just sparred with him. And I would love to see Sean Strickland do that to a comedian. Guys in the stream chat, guys and girls in the stream chat, which comedian would you like to see Sean Strickland light up? Like he'd light up fucking, like he lit up Sneeko. I would love to see that. I'd love to see him do that to Red Band. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'd love to see Sean Strickland do what he did to Sneaker to Red Band. I would pay money to watch Sean Strickland light up Red Band in the fucking ring. I love it. I love it, bro. I would watch that. Okay, it was like Segura. Oh, Schultz is a good one, quite. Yeah, Schultz is a good one. I'd love to see Schultz get lit up. Okay, Papa for sure. Bear Nips. Uh, Callan. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, Callan. Callan would be good. Yeah, Bert would definitely be good. Fuck Red Band, man. It's fucking... Uh, I don't know. I just always... I, I don't know, man. I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to get into it. <clears throat> if I get into it, I'll get too toxic. But yeah, I'd love to see Red Band get fucked up. Um, Sam Tripoli, yeah, that's a good one. MN will definitely fucking be happy about you writing that, Brandon. Yeah, Sam Tripoli would be a definitely good one. Oh, that would be good, I see. Sam Tripoli might be high up the list. It'd actually be good to see Sam Tripoli get lit up. Did Tom get new teeth? They look all white and straight now. Did Tom get new teeth? I don't think so. Please get into it. What's that? Tripoli. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, please get into it. Now, look at the red man. Um, did Tommy get new teeth? Let's see. Let's see if it plays. Can, Let's see. When you took it easy on him, though? Like, I mean, played? I, he, he fucked, I think he fucked him up, but he didn't like. Why is this kid stepping in the ring? Oh, let's see. People. What's he doing? I think he's... Huh, I don't know. He doesn't have that lisp. <clears throat> he doesn't have that lisp. That the little whistle everyone has. So I'm, I don't know. Maybe he does have it. Let's let's see. Let's. Brian, I don't let's know. I, I don't know anything about Is Sneeko. he saying that he can fight with them? Like, why uh, is he doing this? I don't know. Oh he, oh, he might have Invisalign. He might have Invisalign. That's it. He might have Invisalign. I think I remember him talking about Invisalign. He might have Invisalign in. That might be why. It's, there's no, I don't think there's a, I, I don't actually, I really don't know anything about Sneeko. I only know his name because Sean Strickland fucking lit that kid up. Yeah, he did. I mean, he took those left hooks he was delivering were like monstrous. I, know. I would love to see Bert get that left. Imagine seeing Bert's face eat those punches. 
I mean, he, pro- he probably laughed. He probably might piss. His- he probably might piss his pants. If Bert Crash was punching that in the face, he might piss his pants. <laughs> it's the machine. It's the machine. You know. <laughs> I know. I mean, I I don't like, and they and they were like, they were throwing ta- they were throwing laundry in I there. I remember. I remember. It and, was wild. And everyone was like, "All you had to do is go down." He didn't go down. It was. It was. Uh, he didn't go down. <laughs> he didn't go down. That's fucking crazy. That's fucking insane. You know, I would have, I would have fallen down way earlier. I think most of the population would have. I, there's, there is something about those men. Like even like shaking hands with Nate, you realize his hands much bigger than yours. Yeah. That he moves different. Like there's just like those Do guys. You catch that with Manzel's hand because he's not a big guy, but when you shake his hand, you're like, oh, it's like a same, baseball mitt. Same you're with like, Baker Mayfield. Psh, yeah, yeah. But all those dudes are just larger. Yeah. They're just they're just a little bit genetically better than us. Yeah, and you and it's so funny because I have you're two middle aged white dudes, dads. Like, why are you com- comparing yourself to like, you know, fucking one percent of fucking professional athletes? Like, what what is this? Professional athletes are really strong. Professional athletes look like athletes. Really, tell me something I didn't know. J- jokingly talked wild shit about fighters because I feel like we're all it's like the way we talk about porn stars you know like yeah. we're all in the same world but man you hang out with them and you realize like they're all they're all sweet guys but okay it's over thank god thank god it's over thank god it's fucking over because Jesus Christ man hearing that guy talk is a lot I'm not gonna lie it's fucking a lot <laughs>